running. Eric, it sounds like tonight maybe up come the windows. Up come the windows, but by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, if you leave them open, it might actually be chilly. One of those days where you step on the kitchen floor and the feet are freezing because we'll have temps dropping back pretty dramatically. Now our highs today, 70s and 80s, coolest at the coast, but just perfect. The humidity has really fallen back. And this evening, we've been watching that sea breeze front moving ashore down to 67 in Portsmouth, 65 at Logan Airport, 66 in Hyannis, but 83 still on the warm side of the front in Fitchburg. That sea breeze boundary is right around 495, anywhere along and west of it still on the warm side of things but no complaints dry air in place it's been a stunning june day and with that dry air and clear skies that's the perfect recipe for a pretty cool night for this time of the season that hazy hot and humid air has all been squashed off to our south and west high pressure that's drifting down from hudson bay that's providing the cool and dry air mass will be here for the next 24 hours or so so our temps tonight low to mid 40s in many spots again that's well below average for this time of the season we'll hover around 50 degrees in boston last night stayed in the 70s so a pretty dramatic change. And if you're up around sunrise tomorrow, you might even see your breath out there, but it won't last for long. A lot of sunshine. Temperatures jumping up above 70 by lunch. A little bit of a south-southeasterly sea breeze. And again, the coast will be cooler tomorrow, falling through the 60s in the afternoon. Meanwhile, the inland area is well up into the 70s. But a great day to be outside. High near 78 in Lawrence and Fitchburg, 74 in Worcester. Again, 60s from the seacoast down to the Cape and the islands for our Thursday. So if you're going to the beach, I yeah, can soak in a little sunshine for sure, but not exactly exactly warm 67 about as high as it gets for most of the shoreline and water temps are now rising above 60 degrees in many spots so the stretch has warmed things up a little bit then tomorrow night the clouds will be thickening up and friday kind of a dreary end to the work week mainly cloudy skies and some scattered showers and downpours will be moving into the area especially for the afternoon and the evening so it could be a pretty wet end to the day here and some locally heavy rainfall is going to be expected now that warm front that's causing the rain hangs up a little bit on saturday morning that's that's the trickiest part of the whole forecast. How fast is that front going to move across the area? If you're heading towards, say, western New England or down toward Connecticut, you're definitely getting into that warmer air mass that will be humid and near 80, even a chance of storms. From Boston northward, that front's probably going to take a while, so we'll have some lingering showers, some fog, until we can dry out during the afternoon. Then on Father's Day Sunday, I think we're dry. Just a slight chance of a storm popping up in the afternoon, but it is going to be warm and pretty muggy outside as well. So if you've got a round of golf plans, definitely going to be shorts and t-shirt weather. We're looking at highs in the mid-80s, plus that creeping up a humidity that's really going to make it feel a bit uncomfortable. And Saturday's the most unsettled day with a chance of some morning showers and even some afternoon thunder for western areas. So for Sail Boston, wish we could have today's weather, but Friday evening looks pretty wet. Saturday morning, hoping that front can ease on out of here and bring us some sunshine. It does look drier for the afternoon. And then on Sunday, a warm, breezy day. The breeze there will be out of the south uh, direction. So as we look at the pollen counts, tree pollen is finally falling out. It's grass pollen that's causing most of the issues as we head through mid-June. So here's your seven-day outlook. Next week looks steamy. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and perhaps into Wednesday. Very humid air with highs in the 80s. And it looks like the highest overall chance of rain here will be late Monday and into Tuesday. And David and Lisa could see some really heavy downpours with that one. I have some camping going on next week, so we're going to have to be talking. All right. Uh, I know a guy. <laughs> you do know a guy. <laughs>